Hey there and welcome to this AFK journey video. So in today's AFK journey video, I'm going to talk about the season legend trial teams for the different factions that run on my main account. So before I begin sharing, right, like there's a few disclaimers I'd like to make as usual, right? So number one, I'll be using it. Uh, I'll be basing the teams of my main accounts where I have a lot more units built up. I have my units at a really high tier. You can call my account a pay to win account if you, if you want to put it that way. But for yourself, if you have a team which is, I'll say like less developed in terms of the tiers of your units, always use your stronger units in terms of the tiers because higher tiers give you more stats, obviously giving you a higher chance of winning and clearing through harder difficulty challenges itself so that's for legend trial so point number two legend trial is usually not my key content what i usually do for legend trial is i'll just um level up my units as much as possible and then when i have the free time to just clear through the legend trial then i will just go to the legend trial and see which one is open and i'll just clear a few uh all at the same time so as you guys can see from my clearance itself right uh, i think people are already close to either 58 59 to 60 for like the higher tier players Players. so for me i'm still at a 50 plus uh, range because i have been slacking a lot for the trials so i plan to clear some more with uh, today's buff where we have all the legends trial tower open so that's what i usually do either I i'll wait until sunday where everything is open so i'll do everything at one shot to save some time but if you're super competitive then you want to be pushing through the towers uh, of the different elements on a daily basis right so you can get your uh, leading player tech over here right you can get your best ranking you can get your seasonal growth ranking up there for the legend trial so this is for ego purposes for those of you guys who do not know what i'm talking about there's actually a ranking for the seasons legend trial over here as you guys can see so for me i'm not uh like a very hardcore player for this so i'm not actively pushing the legend trial but since people ask me for my teams i decided to do this video to showcase what teams i use to clear the different trials itself so without further ado let's start with the first light bearer team so for the light bearer faction right i believe most people right before i start most people will probably have three units in their pool right before i begin so they will have corinne they'll have merrily as well as rowan okay so rowan is a free unit that's given to everyone uh i think uh, if in one of the three of the guaranteed pool so if you did get him you have one copy of him and then you can get his uh, copy from the arena store so he's quite easy to level up although you don't really need rowan at a really high tier although having additional stats will greatly increase the tankiness of your frontline units but even if your rowan is low tier his role in the team is to heal right the potion as well as the battery which i mentioned multiple times so for corinne and uh merrily if you are in the pre-season you probably try to build them up because these units they are really really good in the pre-season for the dream realm so they are units which are very heavily invested by most people so these units are the units that you're probably going to be using because of their high tier because of their high stats from the increased tier compared to other units so for the tank option uh you may actually run to measure i think for for me i actually run a double tank setup because i i both the major and corinne at a decently high tier but i think for most people at least in the pre-season they won't have lucius but to a certain extent i think i recommended people to put the major on the wish list so most of you guys should have a the major at a decent stat line so you can actually use the major as the tank if you have lucius in the front line that would be good as well so with the recent seasonal changes lucius actually got a pretty decent skill in terms of the seasonal skill which which means that as long as he's able to stick around for quite a bit he will offer a great value for your team so this is the main team that i run sometimes i will be running vala in the place of our dear merrily because i want to snap off key targets against the enemies for example really really annoying targets when they unleash their ultimate for example cc on the enemy side of things then i will use vala to aim the cc or aim the key targets that i want so that is the rationale for this team build so for this team build we have enough sustain we have lucius we have have rowan we have corinne for the shields and potions but if let's say you want like if you only have the major you don't have lucius you can obviously run Fay right for the additional heals so my Fay is also at a really high tier but uh if let's say you don't have uh, Fay at a high tier i think she's still quite usable just try to keep her in a safe position so she can benefit from rowan's potion and then she can provide the heals for your team from there so that is for the light barrel tower artifact of choice for this account is actually the quick blade spell because uh let me go into the team again okay so the reason why i ran the quick blade spell for this uh tower is quite straightforward so i'm just gonna auto battle this because my team is strong enough so uh the reason why i run a quick blade spell is because quick blade spell offers the most stats 
both defensively and offensively all together and on top of that is a physical buff artifact for a physical light barrier team so that's why that's one option you guys can use but if you chose to go for the mage build which is the merrily cassidy build then using the crescent spell will be a lot better although i don't think a lot of people would have uh morale invested but i think cassidy being invested is a high probability so cassidy with crescent spell which is a blue color artifact for the seasonal legends trial you can definitely use it for the base legends trial i think the two best artifact will always be stasha spell as well as a confining spell for the base one so if you guys have those unlocked you guys can use it to push for those of you guys who don't have those unlocked you're still at the pretty early stages of the game just use which artifact gives you the most stats to survive for your team to do what they want to do so so for season side i use quick with spell pre-season the better one will be confining as well as star shot spell in fact i think this team goes really well with star shot spell because if you don't burst down your enemy with rowan's ultimate cycling for your whole team star shot spell is gonna be pretty impactful over a drawn out battle so that's how good this team is okay so next for the wildest team i think wilder side will be pretty standard uh, for most people, I'll say you will have Iron and Arden invested if you have been following my guides really closely because these units are highly recommended by myself. And then for other people with enough resources, you'll probably have Damien as well as Huey invested at a really high tier. And then slotting in Danny as a frontline tank, you're pretty much done with the Wilders team. So this team should be sufficient for you to clear through the towers as smoothly as possible if you have sufficient levels. So for the artifact of choice, depending on um, whether or not you need more control i think confining spell is really good because this team has decent control it has danny which has control iron has control even Arden has control as well so pretty pretty good there if you want to use confining spell if not you can go for the crescent spell for magical damage because this is a mage based team that's one thing you can do or you can use my latest favorite which is the evocation spell so this spell i'll say is pretty interesting in a sense it provides decent defensive prowess from the skills as well as the hp percentage stats while offering decent offenses if you can survive long enough so it's a pretty powerful i'll say the artifact if your team is able to survive the initial barrage of skills from the enemy's team so that's for the team recommendation i'll showcase how this team run so if you have floribel invested and you don't have iron invested no other invested and you want to go towards the physical side you can just switch out iron as well as Arden for floribel as well as Lyca to form the physical variant for the wildest team so that is if you invested in Lyca as well as Florbell instead so that will be the more physical centric side and then for Danny Danny is a physical attacker so Danny actually is a better fit in the physical attack team and if you do face the case where you have um the assassins after your unit you can use Damien as the first hit unit for example if you have a Sylvina then you can let uh Damien bait the Sylvina's uh, first hit so this will reduce a lot of damage on your team but take note that the positioning of your units is very important next because if Sylvana doesn't hit Damien Sylvina will be hitting the next closest ally which will probably be Huwin or Danny based on the positioning so I usually put it like this so Huwin will charge out her ultimate faster and then uh, Danny is very tanky so her job is to soak up damage so it's good for her to draw attention away from the other teammates okay so I'll just showcase one run for this team so I think for Wilder side, it will be pretty much this team which most people run because the units that you invest in for the Wilder's team is pretty linear. So Arden, Iron, Huwin, they're all like top tier must have units. And then for Damien, highly recommended. And Danny is also very highly recommended moving into the Song of Strife season itself. So uh, I'll say Wilder side is pretty fixed from here. The only thing you change is probably the artifact you use on the uh, battle to battle basis depending on who you face so that's for the wilder side next i'm gonna run through the uh graveborn side okay graveborn side will be interesting because i think for most people they actually have a cc invested so you can definitely use cc right for this slot so you can use cc with the cascade spell in order to get the ultimate off as fast as possible so you can cycle through your skill so this is one variation that you guys can definitely run you definitely need torrent on the front line because torrent 
Baron is the only Grave Bond tank that can that can take a lot of initial damage. If you have um your turret invested, but you do have Igor, you can use Nero to provide more healing, right? But if you have Igor, I'll suggest use Ram uh you run both of them because they are really really good in buying time for the backline to do whatever they want. So if I'm not running CC, I'll be running Nero to keep everybody alive for as long as possible, and then my backline, which is uh, Carolina as well as Viperion, will be doing the damage so this is the the idea for my grave bond team so uh for this right because there's an assassin unit i will shift for carolina here and then i will put our dear nero here so i'll let nero take the hit most of the time because nero with the hero focus as well as this unit being really really slow is good to be put on the back line so that you protect the unit while soaking up some damage for your other units because there, they have to be someone who takes the damage. Either you use uh, Ego or you use Nero. So I'll use Nero because I think Nero is decently tanky and then he will be able to heal himself and then provide the heals for the other teammates. At the same time, because I my Nero with the EX weapon, so he's able to actually protect uh, Viperion with the ultimate so that Viperion can hang around for a little bit longer. So if you don't have like all these high tier units, I think Carolina probably is one thing that people invest in, then you can just use Cecil, right? so use cascade spell to boost cc's skill um if you have situations where you can actually snipe off people really easily you can run the physical attack variant right you can use cc and then you protect uh sylvina with torrent because torrent will be able to take some damage from the target that he's linked to so you send sylvina in to uh, try to snipe off someone for example i think i can snipe off the brian so i'm gonna put sylvina here okay and then i'm gonna let uh sylvina should i let sylvina take the thing oh wait i'll aim off cassidy because cassidy is an easier target and then i will protect uh sylvina with nero and then cascade spell our dear uh cc at the back line so this will be the physical variant let's start the battle okay so here at the start of the battle sylvina will just go to the back line snipe off key targets get the seasonal buff and then continue to attack and kill the back line so uh i'll say this one just build the team based on what you have the physical side you have this version for the magical side you have the viperion as well as the carolina version which i'll also showcase in this run so i'll put viperion here i'll put carolina here so my units are really strong so i'll use the crescent spell so you guys will see me clearing the stages really fast but that's because my units are at a really high tier and it's over level compared to where i should be clearing because i was lazy in terms of pushing so for mage team this is the variance right this is how it looks like so i think for the graveborn side torrent will be definitely a must ego is not a must if you have Igor, you can just run new for additional sustain. If not, you can just run any other unit for an additional body. To be really honest, you can run a Sylvina as well. But Sylvina is technically an additional body that rushes to the enemy. So uh, if not, I think Celezo as a mid shield is okay. Although this unit dies pretty fast as well. So that's one thing that you guys want to take note of. But if you have... Uh, uh, Cecilia, right? And you have a decently invested Sylvana because you put her on a wish list, then this will probably be the way to go. So you can obviously use Creepbait spell to try to burst people down as fast as possible. So I kind of want to burst down Cecilia, so I'm going to do this. Okay, Meryl is fine as well. Let's do this. So I'll do this. Let's go. So this is for the Grave One team. This is the physical variance, by the way. So one thing which I think Creepbait spell is uh, less powerful than Cascade spell for grave one thing is if you're running Cecilia, then i think you kind of want to buff up her ultimate out as fast as possible so cascade spell is definitely better for that but if your sylvina is stronger then i think using quick blade spell is better because the initial defense debuff as well as the stats and burst potential that quick blade can offer with sylvina is a lot better and if you're able to kill people fast enough right your Cecilia will get the ultimate off fast enough so if you're more premium then carolina and viperion is the way to go because these two units are just so good in terms of the aoe side of things and uh mage teams in general they're just really strong in the meta right now so for molar team right uh i think for molar team i i think most people should have uh, these three units invested <laughs> right od coco and smokey they are really amazing units and uh probably have antendra even at a really low tier so antendra's role is for the shooting so Mauler's team is pretty fixed as well i'll say if you have brutus at a high tier for the front line this will be how your team looks like 
And for this team, I usually run Starshard Spell because OD is just able to cycle through the ultimate so fast that he can actually drive the Starshard Spell cycle himself. Very, very good stuff. And it reduces attack speed, which increases your survivability. But as of the recent, another way to run this team is to run the Evocation Spell because Evocation Spell can provide the defensive buffs to keep your team healthy. And then with the offensive buff, you're able to kill the enemies from there. So this team is quite flexible. You can obviously use Cascade Spell to hyper accelerate um coco's ultimate for the massive damage reduction as well as the ex weapon shield as well so don't use cascade spell or od because he just charges his ultimate so fast he doesn't need cascade spell to do it right you can definitely also run a quick bit spell or even light heal spell depending on what you lack but this team doesn't lack healing so i think light heal spell is not that good for this maybe storm caller i think storm caller offers pretty def uh, pretty decent defensive stats as well so really i think this team is very flexible with regards to the artifact just uh, use the artifact based on the en enemies you face as well as the team that you are running personally for most people this will be the standard structure some people might have shakir more highly invested i think you can put shakir on the front line because you have Tendra to shield the frontmost unit and then you have two support healers that can keep Shakir online until the ultimate pops up so this is one way that you guys can function so if you are somebody who probably didn't watch my video or you just don't like OD you might consider the physical frontliner rush failure uh, frontliner rush failure variant right so this is the frontliner rush so Brutus Shakir as well as Seth and then you have Antendra that will run to the front line so you have four units that will benefit from Shakir's Lupin aura and then you have four units that are rushing people at the melee range although this team is probably not really good from uh i'll say like uh, understated point of view so if you are very very understated then i think face rushing your enemy is not a good idea but if let's say you are on equal stats number this is definitely something that you guys can try so most importantly before i end of this video to be really honest you need not be too concerned with legend trials if you are slightly behind because most of the time if people are able to push through it is because they have the units to clear specific stages in fact uh the tower of uh, the different seasonal tower itself they don't offer you any um, rank based rewards they also don't offer you any time based rewards so there's really no need for you to rush through unless you need that every bit of uh, hero essence or even your equipment upgrading stones to increase the overall strength of your account so that's it for this video thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys